What it do, folks? This your boy, Lee Black, the voice of TFG Ratchet and the host of Real Talk for Real Men. Trump, hush money trial, always ratchet. And it's, you know, I've been trying to avoid this, but it's inevitable. This shit is still going on. That in and of itself makes it a ratchet. The American public don't give a fuck about this. The truth of the matter is this is more hilarious and funny than it is tragic. Okay. A former president is on trial and it's being televised and all that good shit and it's historic, but we're past the shock of that. To be honest, Trump loved this shit <clears throat> as far as the attention. Uh, the moment we elected him president, we ushered in this new era of fuckery and foolishness anyway. The truth of the matter is it's always been this type of shit, but it's been behind closed doors. But the moment we put Trump in that top seat, he pulled the curtain and tore that motherfucker down to where we are now able to see all the stupidity, the, the pettiness, the bullshit that goes on when it comes to politicians. Because Trump is Trump. He ain't doing nothing different than he haven't done his whole life. Trump is Trumping like a motherfucker, if you want to be honest. And the fact that we are on day 10 or whatever the fuck it is of a hush money trial, like this is not going to get him locked up, people. This is just a lot to do about nothing, to be honest. Who really gives a shit about whether he paid some bitch to suck and fuck? Ugly woman at that. Like, for real, y'all? And what he did with the money and how he covered it up? Look, if you married and you cheat on your spouse and you spend some money you ain't supposed to be spending, he did what any powerful man does. He tried to hide this shit and filter it through his sycophants and this, that, and the other. And the fact that he's having to sit on trial to talk about this shit is absolutely ridiculous. And then you, we're acting as if something is really going to happen different. He's been ordered with a gag order not to talk about the judge, the family, this, that, and the other. Trump walks right out of that motherfucker every single day and says whatever the hell he wants. Because the fine for violate this, I think it's a thousand dollars. Folks, are we serious here? He's racking up a thousand dollar fines for violating a gag order. And he's done it like fucking 10, 12 times where he keeps getting hit on the wrist. Don't do that no more. It's more of a mockery of our justice system that if you really wanted to sit here and tell us that nobody is above the law, why don't you just lock him up for his violations? He has multiple trials multiple things going on and walking around free. Meanwhile, people who've committed far less crimes are locked up. Money, riches, power, and it don't hurt that he's a white old man. He's holding all the fucking cards, people. And the idea that we're pretending that this is going to matter, he is the front runner for the Republican Party and by many accounts leading in the polls to still beat old smiling Joe. Politics is a fucking joke. And that we are wasting this man's time on bullshit that most Americans don't even give a fuck about. If you wasn't going to lock this man up for the riots, the things that happened in the Capitol, all this other shit is just window dressing, just to be honest with you. Who he fucked and who he pissed on and who he slept with and what he did with the money and what he thought about this, we don't really give a shit. This man has got sneakers out. He's got Bibles. The money that he's spending there, he's making that right back because, to his credit, his fan base, his ground root base, they love this dude. I like Trump personally. Now, do I respect him as an upright, righteous individual? Do I think he was a good president? Hell no. But I love the fact that he stands on what he believes in. And for that, I respect it. He says shit that people think and sometimes even say, but they just say it behind closed doors. As a privileged, elderly, billionaire white man, he's led a cushy life his entire existence. All he knows is money, privilege, and power. He's being his authentic self. And the truth of the matter is, he's learned a valuable lesson that many of us need to adopt. He's accepted who he is. Flaws and all. 
And since most of us will never truly be in his environment because we're not billionaires, we're not going to get to eat with him, be in his country clubs. He's accepted that you can think whatever you want to think of him. He don't really give a fuck. For the ones who fuck with him, he fuck with them. He uses them. He moves those pawns across the stage like he is supposed to. And I wish some of the other famous people who are finding themselves in situations would take a page out of his book. His enemies, he goes after him with reckless abandon. He understands the view of an adversary. He understands when things get antagonistic. He understands that if you are his enemy, he is out to destroy you. He can apologize later. P. Diddy, wake the fuck up. Some of you others out there, you need to adopt some of the traits of Trump, whether you like it or not, and embrace the dark side, as they say. Be the bad guy. Not everybody needs to be liked. And in the stratosphere in which he does his business, he's not going to see your stupid ass anyway. So what I think of him personally, he don't give a fuck. Truthfully speaking, Trump, I ain't mad at you, bruh. And uh, Stephen A. Smith got in trouble by saying that blacks identify with Trump and the NCAA, uh, 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 NAACP got uh, uh, mad about that because, you know, oh my God, uh, you're saying that we like people with all these offenses. No, that's not what Stephen A. Smith was talking about. He was talking about the fact that we can identify with somebody that is always in trouble, got felony records, and facing issues with the law. And so that he said that, we're supposed to pretend that that's not true. That's why, truthfully speaking, I respect a lot of the shit that come out of Trump's mouth because it is truthful. We might not like it, and we want to shoot the messenger, and it's not always politically correct, and we're supposed to say that part quietly behind closed doors. Trump is trumping because he does what he's supposed to do, and I ain't mad at him. And in my personal humble opinion, leave that man alone. If he want to fuck ugly bitches and hide the money, if his wife is okay with it, then we should be too. I'm Lee Black, and these are my opinions. Keep subscribing to the channel, and Trump, keep doing your thing. God bless.